What's up guys, today I want to show you how to use keyframes and how you can use motion to make your shots a lot better. So I think I did a similar video to this, but I didn't think I'd talk about motion. So today I'm going to give you a more simplified version and show you how you can add motion to make your shots a lot better. Alright, so I'm going to show you how you can get started with keyframes. So in Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to go over to Fast Controls and then you want to go to Motion. Now in this tab, you can use these stopwatch, I guess. Yeah, that's what they are. So you can use the stopwatch over on the left and you want to highlight it to start the first process into creating keyframes. Okay, let's say for example, I want to zoom in. This would be my first keyframe and then I want to drag it out. And then you can change this number here to say about 120. That's cool, drag it out to the end and then play and you get a simple zoom. Now for a music video, I would probably do something like that. I like cinematic looking shots, so I would do something like that. And if I wanna get more creative, you can go to rotation, highlight it, try this keyframe to the start, and then you can turn this say about five. So now you're gonna have this zoom and rotate. Let's look at that, pretty nice. So let's do a quick zoom. For a quick zoom, you just wanna you know make the number higher, let's say about 300 and drag it to the end and let's play it simple as that simple clean easy so i'm going to show you now what you can do to add some motion in your shots and this is a little different um let's say if you have like probably a text animation or a shot that you want to really emphasize i'm going to show you how you can do something similar but get a more better effect you can just you know hit this fx button and that's going to turn the effects off go to your effects tab then you want to type in transform so it should be under the start. You just want to add it to this little area. And then you want to go down to use composition shutter. So you want to hit that, make sure that's off. And then you want to type in 180. So what you just created was almost like you shooting the video. So the movements you're going to create in this section is going to be as if you still shooting this video and you're going to have that same like blur effect going on. And I'm going to show you. So let's do a quick zoom again. I like the keyframe, drag it out, and let's zoom in about say 400. Now this is gonna be a little tax heavy on your computer, might, um, hopefully I'm able to show you here what you just created. So as you can see, like what's going on already. So let's see if it plays, okay. So that, so I'm gonna make an out point so you get a similar, so you get a similar look to it and you really can see what's going on. And what you're creating here is just that, um, that movement feel like you know like um like almost like if you're still shooting the video and you have that live um camera look that's what's going on so you just created that in post-production so let me show you it again hopefully this plays and doesn't burn down all right all right so this is a little tax heavy like i mentioned before but you can see as as you zoom in you get this like the camera is actually flying into it's pretty cool so Let's see if it plays, okay. Nice. Pretty cool. And again, any movement you do under this selection is gonna have that um, that blur going on. So you can um, say, do a rotation again, something quick. And everything is gonna have that blur going on. So that's good if you wanna like, add that to taxes if you want tax to, to have that motion to it you know just to emphasize what you're trying to do this is the way to do it so check it out i hope this video was able to help be sure to like be sure to subscribe and i'm out they gon' fuck around and make a nigga get out right. I just want what's in between your legs. That shit tuned in. Everybody pulled up in their car. Don't you attend it?